What is going on guys and welcome back to another adventure video. Today we are sitting on the side of the road with Sol just hanging out. We unfortunately broke down so the nice thing about having a camper is we can actually wait inside for the tow truck to come along. By the way, I'm just kidding guys. We are waiting for Jaime to show up. This guy ended up on the other side of the freeway. Who knows why after I sent him the exact coordinates. Today was just one of those days where I was just absolutely exhausted from the daily hustle and bustle. And I wanted to simply just come out and disconnect. So sure enough, I told Jaime, let's go out to a local spot that I absolutely love. And luckily he agreed. He took some time off of work as well. And now we're here. Well, I'm here waiting for him. So we're gonna wait for him to get here. And then we're gonna hit the trails, eat some food, hang out and enjoy the rest of the day. Where's your Theo Jaime at? He's late like always, huh? Good doggy. Yeah, good doggy, huh? Always making a scene. Look at this guy. Buenos dias, como están? How you doing, compa? Aquí estoy in San Bernardino County con mi amigo Jorge y Sol. Como estás? How you doing, man? You got Good. lost or what? No, fuck, dude. You sent me to look. <laughs> Did you look at the look at the original pin you sent me and look how far it is? So earlier I blamed you <laughs> for showing up late, but it was my fault. I, I sent this drove guy an extra I'm like good. 15 minutes, dude, up that road, and so I had a backtrack. So it took me an extra like 30 minutes. Dude, walk. gas is only gas is only like six dollars and thirty cents. So and that gas station art goes way cheaper. I spent so much over there. So most of you guys know that uh, Jaime likes Winnie con huevo. So today we're not gonna be eating Winnie con huevo, so we're gonna we're gonna make some street dogs. Yeah, I'm excited. Have you have you guys ever been to uh, East LA? <laughs> Is it East LA? <laughs> this guy's like nervous or something. <laughs> I got hot. <laughs> okay, have you guys ever been to East LA and or like if you left uh, whatever like Staples Center or anything like that? What do they always have? We need to go and level. No, that's <laughs> you wish that we need to go and level. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as the onions and peppers do their thing, we have a little surprise for Jaime. This guy's in for a tree, he has no clue. I have this. Check it out. So if you watch a few of our videos, we always cook hot cheeto pasta. Well, I had no clue that they had Mountain Dew Flaming Hot Soda. So let's see what he thinks. <laughs> you bought that stuff? Just for you, baby. What? Dude, people have been tagging us on social about this stuff. <laughs> I feel almost bad that people are actually were promoting it, but this is the first time we tried it. So Mountain Dew times Hot Cheeto. There we go, little Flamito. Looks like George when he wakes up. Oh my God. Look at that guy. Are you gonna try it? Let's try it. You know what we should do? We should use it for the onions. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. Okay, this is the first and only time we'll probably try this. It tastes like Mountain Dew. It's not bad. Uh. No, you tried it already? I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I mean, yeah. Look at that. Street dogs. In the middle of nowhere. Where's the fly? Get the fly. You ate that one? So just a quick little stroll with my date. Sold. Sold. Not you. No. Oh. <laughs> but uh I was telling Jaime earlier that this is one of my favorite spots. It's really local to us. It's about an hour and 30 from our house. And uh, to be able to disconnect just an hour and a half away. Closer, no? Yeah, like an hour and 10. Yeah. It's pretty nice, man. Maybe for Downey a little farther. Yeah, Downey's, Downey's crazy, especially right now that people are back in school. Are they? Yeah, I mean, that's what kind of made me lag a little bit and I was blaming you earlier. But oh, because of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kids are getting out of school and just like, just Firestone Boulevard is crazy. But uh... Oh look, there is a guy camping. Yeah, he's got a ram, a little rammy. Looks like he's camping too. Pretty That's sweet, cool. check it out. Pretty sick. Look at that. Normally, right around this area, there's always water running, but we are right at the peak of summer and uh, the water is uh, pretty much gone. But look at this, there's a big fat lizard just chilling. There's actually a lot of lizards. <laughs> so old. But yeah, I was hoping to see some type of water. Nothing bro. But it's cool. It's really pretty out here. Yeah it is. We're right up there. It just feels good to be out. Alright, so now that we're back from our hike, mini hike, caught my breath. It's time to give you guys a little tour of the new setup. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And for those of you guys that were at Overland Expo, you guys got a little preview of what we have here and uh before we get started this is not you know paid advertisement or nothing but there has to be a plug for the guys at tiny rig these guys absolutely poured a ton of time into this build and the guys at goose Creek as well so thank you guys if you guys are watching you guys deserve all the credit for making this happen and uh yeah i want to give you guys a little tour give you guys a little rundown of what 
went into this and what has been added for now um, this has definitely made my life a little easier we got this canopy camper back on a friday and that friday me and my wife and my kid went out and it was an absolute game changer without even having any lights or nothing plugged in so now that everything's dialed Let's get right into it. All right, so I had Jaime go behind the camera. I figured it'd just make it a lot easier, a lot more flowy. So we're gonna start here on the driver's side. Uh, if you guys remember my old setup, I did love having a cubby, having everything organized, my cups, my plates, my propane tank, everything that I needed for when we're at camp and we're cooking. So we opt to go with the brand new Goose Gear utility shelf unit. So same style. It allows me to have all my spices, my cups, my knives, my jet boil genesis, all in one area, keeping everything organized. Now, if you're wondering where I relocated my propane tank, here it is, guys. And I actually upgraded my propane tank before I was using a five uh, gallon tank. This is actually a 10 gallon tank. So a lot more propane for the fun activities out at camp. And if you move this way here, we now have a, an alley cap door here that actually secures everything inside the canopy camper. The neat thing is that we were able to add a GP Factor table, all stainless steel. We also were able to keep a cutting board. As you saw earlier, we were just slicing up those red bell peppers, the onions. Now we go inside, we do have the Goose Gear utility cabinets. Uh, the reason why I went with this specific system is because it allows me to have easy access here on the side and at the same time it keeps everything organized. Now I did also include these sleeping panels. There's usually three here and just in case we do have soul with us or we have somebody else trying to camp with us we can put the third panel up and they can sleep diagonally. We have a 13 gallon water tank in the back so no more carrying water jugs or water jerry cans now we have easy access to water here which sold here has been happy about check it out guys boom so here we have the sleeping quarters which are absolutely massive and the neat thing too is that if we push this panel up now we have this whole entire place to ourselves. We can put these sleeping panels up top, both of them. Boom, and now we can sit, relax, enjoy the views, put your leg up. Like that, and look at that. Look at Sol. Sol, come on. <whistles> Up. Jump. Come on, Mama. She's like, bro, help me up. Want me to help her up? Yeah. Come on. Come on. <whistles> Up. She's all sus here. I know. Go. Vente. There we go. Yeah, buddy. What do you think, Mama? Now, neat thing about the camper is that Tiny Rig also installed this Goose Gear panel, which controls basically the whole entire canopy camper from my lights. Here we have the lights. Boom, 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 boom. We also have access to controlling all the charging ports the green lights down below. As a creator, I like to keep all my camera gear charged. So while we're sleeping, my batteries, my phone, my camera chargers, everything is rolling and charging. After a quick little adventure, some hot dogs, some content. Some street dogs, some sick content, <laughs> some walk around videos, bam. Little update. Yeah, we gotta do a little walk around of yours, man. Dude, it's for sale. Hit me up. Hi, mate. Easy supplies. Let's <laughs> let's run it. Is it really? Get you in that thing. Everything included, besides myself. Are you lying? No, for real. Oh well, I guess I'll put his info if you guys want to buy this thing <laughs> in the bio. But <laughs> yeah, might as well. Hit me up. You're gonna have a good time. I guarantee it. Remember that commercial? 
You're gonna like the way you look. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it.